Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we have um, a cry for help from uh, Juha Jusila. Okay, NI2M. And um, this question is this. It says, hi Dave, I enjoy your YouTube videos. Thank you. I wondered if you could help me better understand how to best calculate RF exposure for the fairly popular NFED half-wave antenna. The ARRL website does not include this type of antenna. Beyond RF emissions, this type of antenna also exhibits very high voltages at the feed point, as you know. Best 73 from Juha, NI2M. Okay, let's take a look at this. There is a misnomer here. A dipole at HF in ham radio practice is one half wavelength long from end to end. We can uh, take the formula of um, the length, and this is one half wavelength, so it's this length. One half lambda equals um, 468 over the frequency in megahertz. Okay, this takes into account the 0 0.95 velocity factor uh, for uh, uh, RF in wire as opposed to air. Okay, 468. So for 40 meters, this works out to about 66 feet, the whole length of the dipole. Now, I wanted to point out that the dipole is a piece of wire or tubing or whatever that is one half wavelength long. That is the definition of a dipole. Notice that that definition of a dipole did not mention at any point how the dipole is fed. The dipole, traditionally in ham radio, is fed in the center fed, in which case we have a center fed dipole. Okay, then there are other systems out there. For example, if you feed it at the one third point with a four to one balun, here, this is, it's, then there's a four to one balun there. This is fed at a 200 ohm point. This is approximately 50 ohms, 200 ohms. Uh, this is an off-center fed dipole, okay, off-center fed, center fed, and of course the other method that has become extremely popular of late over the past several years is feeding it at the end. Now the impedance of a dipole, meaning the ratio of the voltage to the current, is the impedance, right? In any given point, this is R, think R from Ohm's Law. So it's lowest here, it ranges from 30 to 70 ohms, depending on how high above the ground it is. All right, um, and that will vary. Remember the first rule of antennas is that everything affects everything. So. Uh, this impedance here runs around 200-ish ohms right there, okay? That's where the 4 to 1 balun comes in for off-center fed. And then the end fed, remember if you, you look right here, there's no place for the current to go at the ends. So this in theory becomes zero and this in theory becomes infinite. Uh, now, in actual practice, that's not true. Uh, it's more like 2,500 ohms at the end, which means if it's 2,500 ohms, the current is small, the voltage will be high, would be very high. Voltage is high at the end on dipoles, and we call this an end-fed half-wave dipole. Okay. Now, this is very important to understand. And you have three different feed points. They create a modification to the term dipole, but they are all dipoles, and they act just like a dipole. So the simple answer to your question is this. 
A dipole is a dipole is a dipole. So you will uh, definitely be able to feed it at any point and it will act like a dipole in the league's calculations for RF radiation. Just put in that it's a dipole because it is a dipole. All dipoles behave like dipoles. Okay. Now, a lot of hams, especially old timers, have a real hard time with the idea that a dipole must mean a center fed dipole. That is not the case. A dipole is a dipole is a dipole. It's a half wavelength piece of wire or tubing or whatever. Okay. And if you, um, you can feed it at the center, you can feed it off center. There are different places you can feed it off center and you can feed it at the end. Either way, it's a dipole. So just go ahead and do your calculations for how the RF radiates. It doesn't matter how it's fed. It's a dipole. Just go ahead and use that. And I think that will answer your question. And yes, as I pointed out, the impedance gets higher as you move away from the center. It's lowest at the center from 30 to 70 ohms. We usually treat it as a nominal 50 ohms, but in actual practice, it's um, anywhere from 30 to 70 ohms, sometimes a little different. And that's what antenna tuners are for. And then you've got this dipole. So a dipole, the length of wire, how it's fed has nothing to do with the way the dipole behaves. Okay, so there you have it. If you like this video and you would like to see more like it, please consider uh, adding a little to the channel funds, which is what keeps this going. Uh, right now, this camera is being held by one of my assistants, and he is uh, Callum Jakeman, and uh, he does a very good job with the photography and with the editing and titles and all that sort of thing. And we've got his brother Aiden here to help out today. We've got to support all this and, and keep it going. So please consider uh, putting something into the channel funds. Go to decastler.com support and find a way there that works for you. One of the ways that is there that I'm kind of pushing right now is Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash ke0og. Also, don't forget our giveaway, which we uh, give away every month. Uh, you can find out the details of what's being given away, given away by going to decastler.com slash giveaway. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.